Hello, my friends. I have a lovely message for the certified nursing assistants from Matthew. You guys are those who care for our nation's elders in nursing homes. What a wonderful service you provide for everybody and for the community as well as your patients. Your loving kindness is so deeply appreciated, especially in such a difficult and challenging year. So thank you for all of us, my friends. You know, I don't always need care, but when I do, I ask for CNA. Many thanks, my friends. Adios. I am a CNA. I am a tissue to wipe away a tear. I am a hand to hold, and I am a sympathetic ear. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. Their life is my life's work. I am a lifeline, protector, and a voice when no one else can be. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. I sit and hold my residents' hands and listen to their stories of years long past. So if for a brief moment, they can smile and remember when they are sad and lonely. I am a CNA. I'm here to care for and comfort my residents when their families cannot. I am a CNA. I am a CNA. My hands are the ones that hold the hands of residents, patients, and family members as their loved one begins their transitional journey. My eyes are the ones that look into my residents' eyes to let them see no fear and that I'm there with them. My ears are the ones that listen to stories of so long ago and my heart is one that holds memories and love for those that are still with us and those who are not. I am a CNA. Hello to all you dedicated and dynamic certified nursing assistants out there. Big up to you. Cedric, the entertainer, just wanted to send you a word of encouragement and love. Appreciate you and understand that what you do is a very serious job. Taking care of our elders, most of them so forgotten about. And this is a weird time with the COVID and the sickness. And you guys are taking care of them in those nursing homes, putting your lives on the line. It was a lot of loss last year. So God bless your spirits, not just the work that you do, but the fact that you do it when others just are not even stepping up uh, to be able to step up to even deal with some of the issues that you guys got to deal with on a daily basis. So stay blessed, stay in high spirits, stay uh, dedicated to that cause and know that these lives are worthy to be loved. And these, even though they're elderly, uh, the fact that you just do the work that take care of them is so important. So God bless you guys, all of you. And this is from Lori Porter. She's the CEO of NACA. Y'all know she loves this idea. She appreciates you and she cares about it from the, from the top down to the last person doing the job at the end of the day. All right? So bless you guys. All right? Ah, holla. Let's go get them in 2021. Let's be solid out here. Today is a day to honor and lift up CNAs. A day to be proud of. Recognizing CNAs' service and sacrifice to this country. Thank you to all of you who've done so much to be able to help us out, help our community, help our country out through this pandemic. It means so much to me to see all your hard work, being at the front lines, putting yourself at risk. I used to hear in the industry, temps, temps, oh, temps. I'm like, wait a minute, these aren't temps. Temps is something that you throw away. You are healthcare professionals, and I applaud you. Whether, again, you're working for a staffing firm or directly for um, you know, administrators and, and the provider. We are their eyes their ears, and sometimes their touch, as well as their voice when they're not being heard. Career CNAs are CNAs who have chosen this profession as their career. This profession is where they feel they belong and are doing the most to help the ones that they care for. People have finally recognized that CNAs are the heroes that many of us have known for a long time. And in particular, when you look at what happened during the pandemic, I think that you should all, and we should all be particularly proud. I'm so proud to represent all of Leading Ages members across the country and saying that we honor you, we support you, and we thank you for all that you do. 
I have had to deal with a lot, being there for families um, who couldn't be there for their family. And I have had patients that had wanted to basically like give up because of the simple fact that they couldn't reach out to their family, they couldn't see their family, they couldn't hug their family, they couldn't connect to their family. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute, we can't do that. Not on my watch. I want everybody to remember that CNAs were heroes before COVID. NACA knew that. Um, CNAs have been heroes. I know that word is thrown around a lot, but CNAs have been heroes for a, a long, long time. COVID has really brought that to the spotlight. CNAs every day take care of some of our most precious and most vulnerable people, people we love, and it's the CNAs who do the work. You guys were heroes way before COVID. Um, you know, you've been heroes for a long time. I'm glad that that brought some additional recognition. I don't think it brought enough, um, uh, at least to those that serve seniors. But uh, I don't know, I, I think the world of you all and uh, you're appreciated. My about 10 year experience as a CNA is that there's absolutely a ridiculously low amount of staffing in, in every facility. I've worked in nursing homes, assisted living. The work you do is of public concern. After all, they're paying for it. They're the ones that are electing people that will say grandma's care is now worth $10 a day less, which will probably impact you and grandma more than anyone else. Here's the problem. Everyday voters don't know what you know. They don't know what's demanded of you and how little you're given for that demand. I say again, on behalf of all administrators, I, I thank you for all you do. They had 87 COVID patients at one time. And I, personally worked on that COVID unit every single day for three months. Um, I felt and so bad for these people and for us AIDS that had to deal with us. And they were so scared. They were very scared. We know over a half million staff nationally uh, came down with COVID. Uh, Lori Porter and I wrote a piece in the Washington Post suggesting uh, CNA was the most dangerous job in America over the past year. But the pandemic showed the world that CNAs make a real and powerful difference. Your dedication, your skills, your love have brought our frail older patients joy and companionship, eased their fears, made them laugh and smile and help them through this devastating year. You might ask me, is it possible in my lifetime? Change takes time. And I say, if not now, then when? COVID has shone a bright light on the flaws in our nursing home systems of care. This is the time to make change. This message goes out to all the certified nursing assistants out there. I'm Anthony Anderson. And I'd like to thank you and commend you for putting your lives on the line during this pandemic and being on the front line. You are true heroes in every sense of the word. Thank you for doing what you do. And please stay healthy and stay safe. I am a CNA and what makes it best for me as a CNA is to help my uh, patient class residents uh, feel comforted by, you know, praying with them and listening to, you know, whatever their hurting needs or whatever their happy needs are. And especially when they, I like to know about their background and I always ask about their families. And I, I, I always like to, to make it kind of personal because they're, in a place that's impersonal and like probably like a institutionalized type area but i just want to make it feel more like home and more like a family i listened to your grandma tell me about playing with her brothers and sisters as she reminisces about her, her childhood i am a cna being a cna is a career not just a job taking care of your loved one is important to me i am a cna I am a CNA. I am someone the residents can count on to be there for them, for the times that they needed me, for the times that they just want somebody to talk to, for the times that they are happy or sad, for the times 
that they want to share the joy of having a good day and for the times that they want to give up when they're having a hard time. I am there for them. I am a CNA. We're here to be a part of the CNA crew in the U.S. and we're representing the Bahamas. And we're from Arizona. Arizona! I want to make a difference. NACA brings everyone together. It helps the, our CNAs feel like they're very empowered and that they have a voice. I'm proud to be a CNA. My residents are getting the absolute best care. And show the world who we are.